everyone. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Here we come, the wassailing, etc., etc. Et et Give us our wassail, if you please, sir. Uh, wassail? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm fresh out of wassail. <laughs> well, you're no fun. Man. Well, come on, it's July. I know, but where's the challenge in wassailing at Christmas? The place is lousy with wassail. Take two steps and BAM! You smash your toe on tons of the lousy stuff. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is wassail, anyway? Oh, um, uh, well, uh... It's, you know, it's, uh... I don't know, I think it's an anti-inflammatory or something. Well, the point is, if you can't provide wassail for we humble, tattered minstrels, you gotta turn over your debit card and PIN number immediately. Yeah, it's a custom that goes back centuries. Yep. You made that up. No, uh, uh, listen to the song. <clears throat> If the person who you sing to can't provide the wassail, you are entitled to his debit card and pin number. Love and joy come to you unless you can't provide we'll right the wassail. Then severe financial penalties shall come to you. Then severe financial penalties to you. Okay, that's the Smurf brooch with the diamond L's, the porcelain cat, hold and I think on, I'd like on, to order hold a Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have wassail. I have wassail. Hold on there, Nelson. Canned wassail? <laughs> no way, my friend. Oh, no. yeah. I checked the lyrics to your dumb little song, and it doesn't say anything about canned wassail. Wait, let me see that there. It is at the party of the first... Party. Damn, he's right! <laughs> Nelson, you found a loophole, you rat. <laughs> hold everything. The castle's calling, <gasps> and something's wrong. You bet there's something wrong. The lawgiver went on vacation and left us with a babysitter. Look! Oh. Why won't you play with the blocks? I don't want to play with blocks. It's insulting. I have an infinite intellect. I think you're a little crabby, and you might need a timeout to think about it. No, I can't stand timeouts. The, the, the silence, the desolation. Okay, are you going to play nice with the blocks? All right, Steffi, you win this time. You see, it's horrible, and she calls me Fluffykins and treats me like an animal. Hey, did you chew this? Um, yes. No, no chew, no. God, man, there's hair everywhere. Please don't treat me like this. I'm a distinguished professor of anthropology from a future where apes evolved from men. No chew, no. Go lie down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, which one of you is Mike? Uh, that, that'd be me. Hi. Okay, and which one of you is Servo, and which one of you is Cow? Um, I'm Servo. And I'm Cow. Crow. What? No, you're Crow. Yeah, I know. Well, of course I'm Crow. I just said I'm Crow, you great feeb. Well, oh, boy. Never mind. He's Crow. Well, now it says here I'm supposed to send you a movie, right? Um, excuse me. Steffi. Yes, Brian. Uh, no, it's brain. I mean brain guy. I mean observer. Oh, never mind. I'm finished, and I'm going to my room to commune with the gossamer Norfolk of the plangent dimension. Well, it's four. It says you take your fruit snack at four. I don't need to take my fruit snack. But I will, because I want to. Thank you. Okay, guys, your movie is called The Touch of Satan. Ugh. And you, huh? you need another tick bath. <laughs> Enjoy the great taste of wassail. Mm. In cans. Hey, that's yeah. ours. Come on, you big lush. Don't get movie oh, we got movie sign. Go. That is oh. our wassail. We worked hard for that. <clears throat> ah. You know what, guys? I don't even think you'd like it. It's kind of skunky. Well, check uh. the freshness date on it. Well, let me see here. Oh, well, there's the problem. It says 1547. Ah. Yeah, it's a pretty old born on day. Yeah, mm. okay. Give that ugly guy a call. Hmm? Uh, you know, I hope the whole movie isn't lit by a hurricane lantern. I hear you, man. Moo. Oh, Let me tell you. Come on, girl. Don't stop now. I've already messed my TV. Man, I don't care if you're scared. You can't sleep in the house. 
Whoa, whoa, look out, you guys. Look out, duck! Uh, ah. Oh, come on. Ow. Why won't you lay any eggs? Mercy, if if you'd come in like the rest of them, there Mercy. wouldn't be all of this this chasing. Yeah, milk me. <laughs> oh, I can tell by the look in your eye that you like all the fussing. Well, just stand there like a good girl. Hello, tractor. How are you this evening? Well, hello, pile of dung. Now, what did I do with that darn pitchfork? Maybe the Dag Blaggett thing is over yonder. I know I left it in here someplace. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm? All right, who's in here? Well, there's my walk me wet Miss Susan. Is that you, Robert? Robert the cat. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed, you little rascal. With Andrew the dog. Now, whoever you are, you better come out here. When sore throat pain strikes. The American Gothic people take revenge. <laughs> and then he died. Just laugh about it. He might have been hurt. <laughs> oh, I'll get more fresh blood. Anybody want any more coffee? I can use a little more coffee. Oh, no thanks, not for me. I'm going in and watch the late news and go to bed. Me either. It's open. <laughs> What's going on out there? Grandma Kramer. Oh, Ooh. Get her in here. Oh my God, what is it? What's the matter? A kabuki oh. actor's been hit. Oh. Come on, Grandma Dried Applehead. What happened? What have you no, done? Right. I stayed in the tanning booth for a whole decade. Stop it. Oh, look at the blood. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> From now on, take your bloody clothes off on the porch, please. The last days of Edgar Winter. He's done it again. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> don't we? Eleven years. And before that, nine. And before that, and that, and before Please, Melissa. Farmer Squarehead. I've got to do something. This torment can't last forever. You know that it can. No. There's a way. Right after this. <laughs> ah. The touch of Satan softens your hands while you do the dishes. This is very 70s. I'm guessing Anthony Zerbe must be in this. Uh, no, you know, I think it's Tony Masante as a kind of hip Satan who solves crimes. <laughs> <laughs> M.B. Mele? That's not a name. That's a bad Scrabble hand. With screw tape on kettle drum, wormwood on harpsichord. Okay, Crow, I'm putting you on Clue Gulager alert. I'm on it, Mike. I take this very seriously. <laughs> All right. Oh, David Spade is Satan. Well, that's good casting. The vineyards of Ernest and Julio, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you know he's Satan because he didn't signal his turn. Boy. Spreading evil and hay fever wherever he goes. When there's just a touch of Satan in your heart. He drives a Maverick? You know, I would have put the Prince of Darkness in a muscle car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you get when you fall from grace? You only get cast into perdition. <laughs> there he goes. So long, foul deceiver. Bon voyage, onerous spinner of lies. Hasta luego, maverick driving Cludie. Ye Cludie? Cludie? Yeah, it's Scottish. I looked it up. Huh. Okay. I did. 
Odd, disturbing score co-written by Mike Post and Igor Stravinsky. Sightsee on your own time, Beelzebub. Get off the road, man goat. Satan's Harmonica Band, led by Toot Thielman. <laughs> well, he is the master of torture. He would have really long credits like mm -hmm. this. Mike, behind that tree, it's Clue Gulliger. Where? Oh, shoot. It was Monty Markham. I should resign my post. No. I'm just not doing a good job. Thanks, anyway. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. Boom. I should phone Satan, tell him I'm going to be just a little late. Hmm, what was Anne Hayes doing in there? Citizens arrest! Oh wait, I'm a cop. <laughs> oh, just taking a breather here, I get really winded. Oof. Nice looking town you've got here. You can't pay, can you? Yeah, well, don't let that fool you, none. More going on here than meets the eye. No kidding. Like what? Oh, look what I'm doing to your car. Like murder, brother. Like murder. Murder? That's a rebub. Farmer down the road got killed in his barn by a pitchfork. Happened a little over a week ago. Hmm. They catch the guy yet? No, nope, I'm still at large. <laughs> nope. Ooh. My money, they won't either. That'd be six dollars, even. Oh, and an extra dollar for the aliens in my head. See, the way I got it figured, <laughs> this job was done by one of them fromachidal maniacs. Ah. And we ain't got none of them around here. Stamps? Uh, no thanks. Back rub? Uh, no thanks. Oh, come on. Yep. Long gone by now. They won't catch him until he kills again. Being him, I should know. You're right. Nobody needs, uh, what did you call it? What's he doing? Fromachidal maniac. That's <laughs> even funnier this time. Yeah, huh? well, nobody needs a fromachidal maniac hanging around. Is that right? I should check my diction out of me. Oh, what with all these gas crises and water gates, I needed a good laugh. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. The gas station guy forgot to give me my Roman Gabriel cocktail glass. <sighs> The credits are going to unspool backwards now. Hmm. Looks like a nice private place to practice streaking. Weren't they concerned about holding an audience back in the 70s at all? I mean, no, no. Back then, talkies were still a novelty. Dum -da dum dum dum. You know, I was just thinking that Gerald Ford is rather clumsy. <laughs> Thank you, Lurch. I'm gonna get out my guitar and practice Sister Golden Hair. Wow, I'm the first one at the Rainbow Gathering. But the trees can't help their feeling if they like the way they're made. Mike, stop it and now. <laughs> Sorry. The first Richard Carpenter music video. Well, this is not putting me in mind of Satan here. Yeah. Believe me, it's pretty easy to put me in mind of Satan. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> <Ha, laughs> let's see Christopher Atkins skip a stone like that. You can't eat ham just anywhere. You gotta find just the right place. Huh, right next to the dead raccoon. You Oliver Hardy, just eat. Whoops, <laughs> sitting in the water. That was real easy to avoid. <laughs> I'm not going back, Jim. I'm worried that my sandwich may be small and inadequate. 
What's on the spit, Pilgrim? Mm -hmm. Okay, you sell an herbal essence or Irish spring. Is your pond? You can uh, take your time. It's a tough question. Belongs to my father. Oh. Does your father mind if people skip rocks across his pond? Just don't hit his favorite frog. I don't think he's ever mentioned it. Oh. Hmm. Do you want to have a sandwich? No. But don't let me stop you. Just ram that moldy olive loaf into your loser face. <laughs> that your car? Mm-hmm. Mind if I skip rocks across it? Pretty car. Thanks. Huh. Huh? Well, I suppose the plot's not gonna unfold itself. Yep. <clears throat> What's your name? Melissa Strickland. Mine's Jody. Jody Lee Thompson. Only I don't care for the Lee very much. Hello. Hi. Uh, are we starting over? <laughs> what half of Mr. Pibbs? What are you doing down by our pond, Jody? Mellowing out. Lunch. You on a journey? Yes, I guess so. I'm not going anyplace special. Just drove through some credits. That was fun. Yeah, keep on trucking, I guess. I guess you'll do your thing and I'll do mine. Yep, whip inflation now. Bye. You're pretty, you know that? Sort of a floppy road away, I guess. Yes. I guess so. I bet you have nine boyfriends. No. Six. No. Three. None. Two. Let me change my answer. You're putting me on. How come? Well, it's just that we live on a farm. We don't raise boyfriends. <laughs> None of my business anyway. What kind of a farm? We grow walnuts, mostly. Walnuts, huh? Well, I've never been on a walnut ranch. How many head of walnut do you have? Can you meet my needs, please? <laughs> What's the matter? My prize walnut died. Nothing. I was just wondering, would you like to come up and see it? Uh-oh. The ranch. Why? <laughs> well, you said you'd never Smooth been on ranch. You're not going anyplace special. Add to my general fund of knowledge, huh? Oh, will you give me a walnut? <laughs> yes. Maybe two. <laughs> well, you can't beat that. Let's go. You can help me calve a walnut if you're lucky. Man, she doesn't love him after riding in his Maverick. She's a total ice princess. Yep. Surprisingly short run on time for a 70s car. You catch Cotter last night? Mother? Hmm? He's the best I could do. This is Jody. Hello. He's just passing through, Mama. Hello, Jody. Or should I call you Buffy? Supper will be ready directly. You look like you could do with something besides a chili dog for a change. Well, you're right about that. Sit right over there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Melissa, go get your father and tell him we've got help now. So can you tell me how to get your daughter in the sack? <laughs> She's a pretty girl, isn't she? Yes, ma'am, she is. Yeah, I can't imagine where she got it. Oh, oh. Where'd she find you? Down by the pond. By the pond? Hmm. Those walnuts are tearing through the hay. What is it? We have company for supper. Company? Who? Well, nobody you know. Just a boy I met down by the pond. Hmm. A boy you met? You brought him to the house? Yes, I did. He's nice. I just want to talk to him, that's all. I mean, I might kill him, but... Melissa, mm. you don't have the right. The right? Ooh. The right to what? To talk to someone? Now, don't get so excited. He's just passing through. He'll be gone soon. Is that all there is to it? Is it? 
You didn't call him, did you? Or mail anything. No. I tell you, it's all right. What about Lucinda? She can eat in her room now. Come on up to the house. Oh, you're grounded, Dad. Herbert von Karajan is not pleased with that. Mm -mm. And be nice to him. So you're just passing through. Yes, ma'am. I'm just gonna take some of the stuff with me. I'm setting up a new apartment. All right, where's the idiot? Daddy, this is Jody Thompson. This is my unbelievably sweaty dad. <laughs> Hello, Jody. How's Uncle Bill? How do you do? You hungry? I could eat a horse. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could too. Good. I'll have a drink on that. Now, Jody, there won't be any hard feelings if you don't want any of it. Oh, bye. Oh, Hieronymus. I love this stuff. Best darn cider in the whole country. <laughs> I make it myself. <laughs> I, uh, put peanuts in it. Ooh, I sure hope he said peanuts. Who's out the taste. You know, with Mitram, you can skip a week. Did you know that? Well, to B.O. Man, that's good. Ha! Mm. Tastes vaguely of back sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Summer ready? Just about. Wash up, everybody. Everybody's working for the weekend. Whoa! Ooh. Holy cow! Ooh. What's up, Mike? Decided to start a walnut ranch like that guy in the film there? Man, is that hard work. Hey, I hear ya. Man, I barely got started, and look at me. Yeah, you look like hell. Oh, yeah, I know. And I was just leafing through the catalogs. How do you account for that? Well, it's darn hard work, my friend. Oh, man, you said it. Oh, I'm not going to make fun of walnut ranchers anymore, I'll tell you that. No. Oh, huh? oh Mike, you have been walnut ranching or something? Yeah, look at me. I'm just ragged. Yeah, well, I could have told you that, man. <laughs> me? I've been pecan farming. It's like rolling off a log. Just made my first million, too. <laughs> Haven't even grown a single pecan. <laughs> ah, we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, 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 Mike, could you back off? You smell like canned tamales. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. Tell me, Jody. Oh. You think you'll ever stop it? Game me around? <laughs> sure, I will, Mr. Strickland, as soon as the excitement wears off. Or I find something I really want. He wants my hair, doesn't he? You know, I gave a lot of thought to this before I did it. I just didn't jump up and run. <laughs> well, it sounds like you know what you're about, son. I don't, actually. How'd you pick that up? How about another little drink of my cider? <laughs> no, thank you. Besides, I've got to get back on the road. No, why don't you wait until morning? Uh -oh. The highway's going to be foggy tonight. Melissa, if Jody wants to leave, we really shouldn't try to keep him. Yes, Melissa. <laughs> if he has to get to San Francisco. Well, oh, I'm in no hurry. I just, just don't want to strain your hospitality. Don't be silly. It's no strain. And besides, we've got a spare room. You can be off first thing in the morning. Just mop up the blood from the last guy. Well, I hate to be any more trouble. Well, you are. It's no trouble at all. To kill you. Is it, Mother? No, I'll just tell Leatherface you're here. <laughs> of course not. I'll fix up the sewing room. The sawing room? I'll go with you in case you need any help. Should we have Jody as our guest, or should I just drill right into my molar? I sure appreciate it. Don't say anything more about it. You and I can pick up the dishes, and then we'll go for a walk. We pick them up for a second and set them down. It's an odd custom. <laughs> Do you like living out here like this in the country? <laughs> I suppose so. It's the only way I've ever lived. Didn't you ever want to do something different? Like what? No, oh, I don't know. Just something different. Not everyone can be like you, you know. You're lucky. Your death will be quick. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. But you get to watch the walnuts grow up wild and free. What's it like? What? The steering on your Maverick. Being able to do exactly what you want to do every single day. Mm. It's exciting. Exciting. Exciting? Exciting. Yes. What do you think I turned down your road today? Why did you? Because I wanted to see what was at the other end. And your end was at the other end. 
They got lucky because you were there. <laughs> Help! Please! Please! <laughs> Girls usually run a lot farther away from me. <laughs> this is where the fish lives. Hmm? <laughs> Why did you run? Because this is where the fish lives. I felt like it. I really wanted to fly, but I couldn't do that, so I ran. <laughs> You're kind of an idiot, aren't you? This is where my tongue lives. Mm. 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 Please, not in front of the fish. Um, hey, hey, your hoof is on my sneaker. Ooh, that was really bad. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Who you are, all of that. Where your fish lives. Well... My father's a Russian count. And when the Bolsheviks Stop came it. in... You don't believe that? <laughs> no. Well, it could be true. Stop it. <laughs> oh, sure, miss. This is where the fish lives. Okay. My father's a lawyer. For the Tsar's court. And he wants me to be a lawyer, too. Stop it. But I told him I didn't know yet. That I wanted to go out and poke around the country for a while. Stop it. So he gave me the car, 300 bucks, and a handshake, and here I am. Stop it. Do you let him know what you're doing? Sure I do. I think he'd like to be with me. Stop it. <laughs> he sounds like a nice man. Yes, he's a very nice man. Really crooked lawyer, though. Man, he'll embezzle the socks right off you. Hallmark Hall of Fame presents The Touch of Satan. Come sit with me and Satan too. He's your friend and mine. Ooh. You know, I like you. I did right away. Like most women. You like me too, don't you? Don't you? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In a Ron Polillo sort of way, <laughs> sure. <sighs> Funny, isn't it? I wonder what causes a thing like that. Maybe I had to. You mean put the whammy on me? Maybe. Nope, not me. I already had the whammy when I was little. Will you stay here a few days? By this log and don't move. Huh? Stay here with me. What? Stay here. Huh? Stay here. Well, I'm lonely, Jody. I need someone to talk to, to share things with. Just for a few days. Someone to share clunky dialogue with. I was going to be in San Francisco. Well, what about your folks? Well, I already live with them. Oh, Jody. You're such an imbecile. You know what I mean. Would they mind? No. All right. I'll leave. Mm. Oh, do you know how long it's been since I felt this good? Must be at least 50 years. No, since the last guy left about a week ago. Oh, now he's rubbing his Ryan O'Neely face all over hers. <laughs> Let's get up first thing in the morning. We can have the whole day together. I'll wear my goat's head. It'll be fun. <laughs> What's so funny? You. You are. Come on, let's go. Put on the gloves. Go six rounds. See what you're made of. Come on, let's go. Night fish. Good night, kid. <laughs> uh, I just want to drive through the director of photography credit real quick. <laughs> Instant ball and chain. <laughs> Great bold ones tonight, huh, honey? <laughs> Did you have a nice walk? Yes, ma'am. Um, don't come up for about five minutes, okay? Good night. <laughs> I sure love the yelling channel. Well, your folks seem nice and evil. That's your room. There's tons of varnished bread laying around in there. Just push it out of the way. Nice door. I'd like to see it crumpled up next to my bed. It, oh, wait. Huh? <laughs> Coming on my door in the morning? 
At six o'clock? Sure, why not? Okay. We'll have to get up and milk the walnuts. Ooh. Good night, creepy vacuous girl. Uh, so I don't need a kiss or anything. I'm fine. <laughs> I like to sniff my blinds before I go to bed. Hey, Beelzebub, Kali, and Lucifer. Hmm. Yeah, signed copy of the Necromonicon here. You guys scare me. Ha ha ha. Signed, Satan. Ah, it's a hideous thing made of skin. Oh, just me. Uh, that represents all my hang-ups, man, and I just let them fall. Cool. Hmm. Excuse me, I, I think I left a Sustacal back in the corner there. Where's going? Who are you? My name is Margaret Rawhide Chew. <laughs> I usually like the left side of the bed, if that's okay. Hmm. Huh. Did a plucked turkey in a wig just talk to me? <laughs> uh, front desk, there's a mummy in my room. Uh, Mrs. Rotting Pumpkinhead? Hello? <laughs> Who is it? It's me. Is Captain Hook there? I've got to talk to you. Do you have a needle? I need to reinflate your grandma. <laughs> What's the matter? Is there anybody else in this house that I don't know about? Well, you know about Mrs. Wilma failed genetic experiment, right? Lucinda. She came right in my room and scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry she frightened you, Jody. She only kills when she's crazy. But you mustn't pay any attention to her. She's an old woman and she likes to wander around the house. It won't happen again. Well, who is she? She's my great-grandmother. She's not that great. <laughs> what happened to her face? Well, she was badly burned when she was a young girl. That's why she doesn't go out very much, because of her face. Unless she's got a coffee coupon. Go back to bed. She was just curious. I'll go talk to her. Okay. Oh, and there's a huge, insane, scabby gorilla wandering around, too. Why did she say go away? She's afraid of strangers. Well, she wasn't afraid to come into my room without knocking. She's an old lady, Jody. They don't know what they're doing half the time. I'll tell you what, I'll go flip her left turn signal on and she'll go right back to sleep. I'm sorry. Go back to bed. Uh, could you make your grandma wear a bell? Okay. I'm going to lock the door now. Do you understand? I haven't understood anything since McKinley went down. Uh, she's saying never try to deep fry a snowball. No. It's late. You have to go to sleep now. Tomorrow I'll take you for an extra long walk. All the way to the dressing table and back. You know, there's a delightful scene later in the movie where this old woman raps. Wow. <laughs> no, there isn't. Good night. And by good night, I mean My shut sister. up. I just wanted to give her a Werther's. Oh man, now a withered old Billy Zane is going to come in and give her a withered old Cour de la Mer. Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Took a walk, got that dress sewn. Killed. Hmm. <gasps> a wrinkle. Well, it's kind of a lateral move, actually. 
She turned into Cecilia Bartoli. Hmm. I miss my Eddie Monster Widow's Peak. I still gotta work on the mustache, though. Ah, back to being Swifty Lazar. Hmm. Who's got it going on? Me, that's who. <laughs> what else are we going to do today? Hmm? Would you mind driving me to town so I can go to the store? Sure. Ah, my pet tick. I'll go change and tell them we're leaving. Meet me at the car. Okay. Hey, I got rocked. Mm. My cup's glued to my lip. <laughs> Your mom looks like Ron Popeil. <laughs> she does. I asked Jody to stay a few days, and he agreed. He agreed that she asked him? Figured you would. Jody's going to drive me to the store. Does she know everything we need? Yes. We'll probably stop by where the fish lives. I said Jody's agreed to stay a few days. We heard you the first time. We weren't interested then either. And it's all right with you? No, it's not all right with me. But it's your decision, not mine. Uh, Mike, if you're ever this family's secret Santa, don't buy them pot holders. Mm. That means a great deal to me, Luther. I mean, Mr. Vandross. Thank you. Is this the little demon I carried? Go to the store. Buy canned peaches and dishwashing liquid. I should stop dyeing my eyebrows. Melissa? Hmm? What are you going to tell him? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Is miking her shoe bottoms? Oh. Well, time to stick my cup back on my lips. Oh, yeah, he's a hot one, all right. <laughs> oh, and they don't need plant holders either, Mike. I mean, you know, if you're their secret Santa. Got it. Well, off to my stewardess job. You ready to go? Yes, let's go. Take a left, right there. Good. Look out! Walnut stampede! <laughs> Hey, you want to play Pitchfork Bug? Well, now, Andy, I think there was a demon in the car. <laughs> Enhance your moody soundtrack music with tiny fart sounds. He's got two huge Sudafed on top of his car. See? down a woman <laughs> man I try to keep fit but after the third baby you know um hi you seen the other village people boy that body piles really growing on <laughs> that grandma die 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 I mean hello well, hello mr. Mason <laughs> howdy mrs. Strickland Luther around I believe he's around in the back you mind if I wander back there? Well, of course not. Thank you, ma'am. He's got a real walnut Jones today, ma'am. There's not anything wrong, I hope. Oh, no, Mrs. Strickland. I just want to chew the fat with Luther for a while. I'll be seeing you. He even brought his own fat. Hmm. hmm. Would he even fit in the Iron Maiden? Well, hello, John. What brings you out this way? And if you say my squad car, I'll chainsaw you in half. Oh, nothing much. Just kind of poking around. Sit down, take a look. Thank you. Got the kettle of hands going, I see. Luther, doesn't the back of your place butt up against old man Larson's property? Yeah, it sure does. You don't mind if I chew on the stick insect, do you? You still working on that Larson business? Harris Tomley still got his wind up. Ooh. He thinks if we can break this thing, he'll be re-elected sheriff for the next 20 years. Damn fool. He's running around over in Newport like he thought he was J. Edgar Hoover. Pretty dressed, though. How can I help? Huh. You mind if I just take a look around your place? Of course not. What are you looking for? 
Hell, I don't know. He ain't found nothing yet. Not even a suspicious looking cow chip. Hmm. Looks hmm. like whoever killed the old man went up in a puff of smoke. I see. So you don't have any idea at all who might have done this? No, nope, nothing. That's why we're all just out poking around. I guess the sheriff hopes we'll find a signed confession just laying in the grass. Well, help yourself to my place, John. Take all the time you want. Just don't spook the walnuts. Thanks a lot, Luther. I appreciate that. Listen. My tummy's growling. And get through poking around. Come on up to the house. We'll have a touch of my cider. I knew you were going to say that, Luther. Then give me the finger like that. But if Sheriff Tomley finds out I was drinking your cider, I may have to start working for a living. Thanks anyway, Luther. I'll see you in town. Uh, by the way, there's no reason to look in the crawl space. <laughs> Yeah. She's gonna go buy a whole bunch of Procter and Gamble products. Why do I suddenly feel hungry for carnation ice cream? I like this place because they have bulk eye of newt. And then get this four. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Gentry. Oh, Melissa. Please feel free to peruse my supply of unguents, suspensions, tinctures, compounded formulas, and other sundries. Uh, anyway, I will shake the paint off your walls, honey. <laughs> What's the matter with these people? You think we had the plague or something? Not you. Just me. Yep, got the plague. Want to make out? They always behave that way. Well, why? They say in this town that I'm a witch. A witch? It only rhymes with witch. Are uh, uh, you plague-ridden little witch? <laughs> yeah. ah. See what I mean? Witches can't lift flour on their own. Why do they think you're a witch? Because I am. Oh, stop it. You don't believe me? Ask them. She gives him fifteen fifty five just so she can get six sixty six back in change. This is a tense moment because she used to date the grocer. Uh, thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. Then you'll just deliver the broomsticks to my house. Hey, they got a sale on mismatched beer. Mm -hmm. Steinlager, Pete's. Nah, you made me go burpee. <laughs> I said za. <laughs> Young whippersnapper. Where's he from? The grocer's wife died when someone said za. It's not funny. Why'd you do that? Serves him right. I just made it worse doing a silly thing like that. I'm sorry, Melissa, but that sort of thing bugs me. Come on, let's go. Tch, I've said za in better towns than this. <laughs> <laughs> After the movie, remember to pick up some carnation ice cream. Okay, here we go. Uh, anything? Hmm. Hmm. Nope, 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 I'm fine, Mike. I guess all we can do is add more rocks. Okay. You know, I'm worried. If I wasn't a witch, I'd be dead by now, or at least shrieking out a confession or raining down curses on my tormentors. But instead, hey, I'm great. I couldn't be better. Uh, okay. Anything. Oh, no, did you actually add one? No, I'm fine. Very comfortable. In fact, I can't believe this. Yeah, Crow, what I don't get is why do you assume you're a witch in the first place? Well, I don't really assume it, Mike, but I guess it's always been in the back of my mind, you know? Mm, yeah, well, you know, Crow, the, the reason you can survive all of this is because of your durable molybdenum frame. <laughs> well, that's nice of you to say, Mike, but let's face it, I'm a witch. You might as well burn me at the stake. <laughs> oh, Crow, you're not a witch. But, you know, it is hard for me to prove a negative, you know? I, mm. I can't really... Prove you're not a frog, for instance. <gasps> Mike, this is weird. Oh, what? Are you feeling some pain? Is it working? No, how do you know I was thinking I might be a frog? Did I tell you that? No, I mean, I just used it as an example. Ribbit. I... I'm a frog! Oh. Ribbit. I'm a frog! Get these rocks off me. I can't stand this kind of weight. I'm a tiny frog! No, you're not. Frog. Hey, you guys, we got movie sign. Oh, Ribbit. well, help me with these rocks. Okay. Oh. Oh. You know what this means? I'm not a witch. I'm a frog! Sorry about that. 
everybody here a witch, don't you? Now I'm a frog. Oh, we're back here at the moon. Yeah. Yes. There's no such thing as witches. I mean, real witches. Real witches. Yeah, you know. The kind they burn. Ooh. You are so witchist. What's the matter? Would you like to see where I do my witchcraft? I do it out of Kinko's. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I'll show you where to turn. I'm just gonna stop in this farm and say za to somebody, okay? <laughs> uh oh, oh the scene's gonna play hell on my hay fever. This is it. <laughs> wow. Well, it doesn't look very forbidding. <laughs> Why should it be forbidding? Well, if this is where you do your uh your witchcraft. <laughs> wow, jeez. Just what kind of witchcraft do you do? <laughs> 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 With the birds and the singing and the sun into coming right. out, okay, making right. everything look the way it looks. You're a very lovely witch. With your soft, downy warts. Come on. <laughs> Cabin 5 is not on the lake per se. You know, if she had another one of these, she could be Melissa Two Sheds Strickland. <laughs> Take a look inside. Let's just walk into the spinning blades. It's nice. Wait, you can't use Amazing Grace in a devil movie? Go on in. Okay. Ooh, lots of pig heads. Oh, she's a talent agent for the Mormons. Your own place. Uh, sorry, that's the most interesting thing I could come up with. Come in here and shut the door and leave the world out there somewhere. Do you like to turn off the world sometimes? No. No, I'm afraid I might miss something. Oh, he turns off the world all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> you do, though, don't you? Yes. Sometimes. Mostly I just like to turn off Canada. Well? Shall we trade clothes? Well, what? Do me some witch things. What would you like me to do? Um, make me disappear. Yay! <laughs> I wouldn't like to do that. I'll make somebody appear then. There's been a walnut uprising. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I must agree with that. <laughs> Is Lucinda out again? She wandered into Jody's room last night, scared him half to death. We'll help you look for her. Oh. You, you stay here. Stay here. Have a good time. Uh, have some toast or something. Poor Lucinda. I'm the only one she feels comfortable with. Except her doll. Mm. Mm. It's sad. It really is. Yep, really, really, really sad. Okay, sex then? What's in the chest? Beg your pardon? I'll show you. Well, hey, a frog that's not deformed. Huh, your maverick is rolling down the hill. Ooh, <laughs> the sun just go Nova out there? <laughs> oh. What's the matter? I can't take the pace anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure. Will you take me home, please? Sure. Still, that was one of the snappiest conversations they've had yet. Mm -hmm. Yep, obviously a herd of grandmas came through here. Aha! I found the murder weapon. <laughs> I'm getting way ahead of everyone on the scavenger hunt. Hmm? Hey, a giant matchstick. I could chew on this for months. Uh, I thought of a secret Santa gift for these people, Mike. The book, How to Hide a Murder Weapon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 
No, not again. Look, look here's, here's your Allegro. Okay. Thanks. There you go. That's fast. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Thanks. Killer Grandma got back. <laughs> I have a feeling he's going to lead a long, full life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I got to go over and bust Grandpa Walton for raising pot. <laughs> Ooh, take three men to peel him off that seat in hot weather. Oof. Unit one, this is unit four, over. I'll hang up and listen. Unit one, this is unit four, over. Unit 1's looking at the radio, giggling. Unit 1 or Unit 3, do you read? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, hold still. Where's my bike? I reported it stolen 80 years ago. <laughs> what? What? Well, right about then, them Duke boys showed up. Lucinda! Lucinda! Guess who we saw in town? Be calm. Be calm. I suppose you're gonna blame me for this. Here's his head. You've earned it. I meant to ask him in for pie. I don't know what happened. Yeah, you ready to try that cider? <laughs> Hello? Melissa! Oops. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Whoa, hot dog, french fries, ramen noodles. Wow, look at him go. <laughs> Melissa! Go inside with Molly. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. Go on. This is so weird, you know, this happened to me on one of my first dates. Grandma killed a guy. What? Dated the girl for a while, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um, Jody, that's gonna take the paint off your car. Yeah, <coughs> uh, yeah. You know, vomit stain maverick was hardly a rarity in those days. Mm, I'm here to tell you, nope. <laughs> She just crow? Hey. Crow, she's kneeling in deputy. Ugh. <laughs> hmm. Kill her grandma and locked in the barn. Something's not right here. Why's that pigeon staring at my head? <laughs> well, at least they didn't chain him to a Baldwin brother. He's got Ooh. that going for him. Wow. Hey, there goes Don the Snake Prudhomme. <laughs> well, the California Bed and Breakfast Guide is getting an angry letter. What's the PA on? You know, from the back, she looks exactly like David Cassidy. You just call Harvey Keitel over to fix things. Why do you think I turned down your road today? Why did you? Because I wanted to see what was at the other end. And I got lucky because you were there. Huh, I have a weird voice. They say in this town that I'm a witch. They won't find him till he kills again. She doesn't go out much because of her face. Uh, me, could you fast forward? Will you stay with me a few days? Stay here with me. I'm lonely, Jody. Ooh. I need someone to talk to. I need someone to talk to. To share things with, just for a few days. Oh, yep, there, there's where I tripped up, yep. Um, I've been appointed as your defense. So you done blowing groceries? I'm not gonna zy your way out of this one, are you, Pally? What are they going to do about me? I don't know. I'm time this pause. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, five, six. Seven. Will you stay here until tomorrow? 
Well, I do want to try Grandma's waffles. I don't seem to have any choice. Luther will unlock that as soon as he gets back. Are they just pausing out of spite now? You yeah. Trust me not to run off. He'll do what I say. <laughs> I've got pictures of him with Mom. Believe me. Listen, that old woman. Just away give us until tomorrow. Please. And what good will that do? It won't change anything. Maybe I can find a way for you to understand. Oh, I understand. I understand enough to know that if you'd gone to that sheriff ten days ago, that deputy would still be alive. Ah, well, look, we don't know he's dead. <laughs> she killed that farmer, too, didn't she? Didn't she? Did all the actors drink a quart of Robitussin before shooting? <laughs> it's wrong, Melissa. Luther and Molly and you are wrong. We're cursed. No. We are cursed. Come on, we're cursed, please. Believe that. You really do believe it. Yes. If I stay until tomorrow, will you go away with me? Where? To the sheriff. And then after that, away from here. Maybe back to Austin with me. <laughs> I can never leave them. Anyway, I hate line dancing. Why? Why, Melissa? What happens to my family is my responsibility. And why not Luther? It's his family. You saw Lucinda this afternoon. She barely knows Molly or Luther or anyone exists but me. Well. I saved her. I'm the only one that can reach her. I don't understand. Much of anything, really. Then stay. Ooh. Just one more day. Oh, you mean stay! Wow. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the most malleable man in the world. I'll find a way. Come on, we'll have a nice murder-free walk. <laughs> you really do believe there's some... Baloney left. Some devil out there. Oh, yes. I've seen his food cake. I suppose that makes it true. <sighs> it is true. Talk quicker! <laughs> Just like those people in the store. They believe you're a witch, so it's true for them. Well, I don't, so you're not. Huh. I'm possessed by the devil. Michael Eisner? There's no such thing. I learned that in community college. I heard his voice. He sang, lend me a tenor. No. There is no devil. Brought to you by the National Council for Emergency Breaks. <laughs> uh, didn't there used to be a lake here? Damn. Lesson, never ask Kelsey Grammer to get your gloves out of your car. Now he's handcuffed to the meatloaf. <laughs> Just said the steak was a little tough. I didn't mean to bring everyone down. Ah, oh, so you're judging us now. You took too many pork chops. <laughs> I saw a robin today. <laughs> I could put my salad fork right in this jugular. Well, I'm just going to stay through the week, then that's it. I'll go lock myself in the barn. Don't get up. Honey, I found a deputy's badge in my stew. Oh. Hmm. Need that Scottish guy to come over and seal up my windows. It's be hard getting whale oil anymore for these lamps. Check it out, she's dressed like Ed Ames. Skip the roof. Dead rubber chicken? What is that? <laughs> Time to go be a general in the Michigan militia. Oh, I made a terrible sock monkey.
My obsession with the color brown is getting out of hand. Someone's playing the cicada in the background. <laughs> Please. Oh, hey. yeah. Thank you. Oh, what was that? Oh, thank you. The editor got called out of the room a lot, I guess. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about that sandwich I had the other day. <laughs> It's the loneliest firefly and his friends. Harpsichord is really a stupid instrument. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a bad mood. Mm, understood. Finding polymers in you. Oh, and go Packers, too, but mostly burn the witch. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, said Madeline. And the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. Bunch of crap. A dreadful sound is in his ears. It's Paula Cole, I think. In yes. prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. What is it, child? That I heard something. Pay attention to the word of God. For he loves you, and he may kill you if you don't. Yea. Team. <laughs> the light of the wicked shall be put out. By 1030. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. Just take the old-fashioned photo, Dad. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle. Hmm. And his candle shall be put out with him. Listen. Sit back, Lucinda. It's Ann Eller. <laughs> They're coming for me. Calm yourself. Sit back. So this family has been pausing for centuries. It's <laughs> a tradition. The steps of his strength shall be straightened. Oh, this does drag, doesn't it? And his own counsel Mm -hmm. Cast him down. For he's cast out of plastic. Yeah, yes. For he's cast yeah. into a net. And it just goes on from there. Oh. Oh, that's right. I, I called the service to come around and burn my witch. So. What is it, David? It's people saying, burn the witch, you deaf. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Burn the witch! Papa, what is it? People saying, burn the witch. Do you have any deductive powers at all? I don't know you. Take your mother to the back of the house. Work her over. And I'll see what this is about. Casual, it's kind of like a Lake Wobegon witch burn. Burn the witch. Hey, you guys are uh, burning witches. Can I come? The hoss has lost some weight. Uh, we was out burning the, the, the yeah, you tell him. <laughs> I'm seeing kind of silly now. Good evening, Mr. Keitel. Mr. Strickland. You've been hitting the booze again. What can I do for you? Uh, Mrs. Lucasta lost her youngin' tonight. Only three years old. Left her at Jimboree. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Kester Hagen here lost three head of cow tonight, and his wife is down sick. Hmm. I'm sorry. And my souffle failed today. The plague. I understand. Plague. The plague is hit near everybody here, David Strickland. But it ain't hit you now. How do you explain that? Well, I don't comb my hair with rat bones. I can only assume... That I'm Franz Schubert. That it's... God's will. Don't no. talk to us about God, David Strickland. There's a witch in that house. And we aim to have her. There is no witch. And that house. Well, my daughter's kind of a witch, but other than that, no go witches. Go home. <laughs> we'll not go home until we get what we come for. Your daughter is a witch, and she's put a axe on it. 
That's a damn fool thing to say, Mr. Keitel. Go on home. Ha, ah, look at him go. Run, you yellow belly. Oh, you're not. I'll talk to you tomorrow down at Ben Proctor's store. There'll be no talk. We'll have the witch. Over my dead body. Uh-oh. So be it. <laughs> Come on. Smooth, Strickland. <laughs> Oh, take my daughter, but spare my commemorative plates! You Servo, stop it! What are you doing? Servo, for heaven's sake! Dum -dum. Hi, Mike. What are you... But Grandma! How did Grandma stop? Now I told you no. Jeez, I'm sorry, Mike. Wait, wait a minute. This is your grandma? Sure is, Mike. Isn't she spry? When did you get a grandma? I, I have two grandmas, Mike. I always have. The other one doesn't kill people, though. This one does. That's how I tell them apart. A grandma down. Down, grandma. Uh, I guess it's okay. I mean, couldn't you get her a TV or something? Hold on a second. What, what's that, grandma? Big? Slow? Tempting target? <laughs> Believe me, I know. But you just can, okay? <laughs> well, I tell you what, Mike. I'm just going to leave you two alone to start all over with each other, all right? No, Servo, don't. Oh, she's full of stories, Mike. Have a good time. <laughs> hey, hey, get away from me. What? We'll be right back. <laughs> back off, lady. What? What? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What? Oh, hey, lady, stop it, stop it, stop Now back, down, down, down. <sighs> These people have butter to churn or taffy to pull, prairie leagues to form. Something. Whining. No! 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 Toby, let's get down from here. Hey, Neil Young. Oh, no, you're making a mistake. Help me. Help me, Melissa. Hey, you've been working out? No, no. You know, maybe if the Amish used buttons, they wouldn't be so irrational. No! 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 Yeah, that's the plan, Amos. Oh, this is so gauche. Every week we do this. This song is in the public domain. That's why we used it twice. <laughs> will you save her? I say again, would you save the witch? Shall I wrap her up for you? Yes. You've been hitting the booze? Will you accept me as your master? Then go fetch. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Hold up your hand. Let me stamp it. Now. Put out the fire. Hmm. Caleb, what kind of charcoal did you use? <laughs> Must have got a hold of a wet witch. Ooh. And you shall have it. May your livestock thicken and die. Mm -hmm. May your crops rot on the ground. Happened already. May your houses be infested with snakes and scorpions. Houses? You have houses? And may your first horn be deformed as pigs and toads. May your tomatoes be flavorless. <laughs> Let's burn some Beatles records instead. <laughs> I do okay with the curses? You know, I'm open to criticism. Ooh, ouch. 
bitch. You're you're still hot. Ow. You know what? Those villages really burn me up. <laughs> it's good I can laugh. Uh, oh. Who are you? I am a friend and companion of the night. I rejoice in spilled blood and the baying of dogs. Oh. I wander among shades and tombs. I am Gorgo and Mormo of the Thousand-Faced Moon. But call me Sue. What would you have of me? I ask that you know me when I return. Mm. I will return. I will return. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a call from Margot Adler. Gorgo, Mormo, you want to help me with this knot? This is the weirdest big valley ever. Uh, wish I'd brought a change of pants on this trip. And all crunchy. Oh. What is keeping me up tonight? I had a cup of tea at Dr. Dinner. Oh, right, Grandma mutilated a cop. That'd do it. Well, I'm gonna go puke on the Maverick. <laughs> okay, everyone, hold a second. I just wanna see if he gets his shoes on yet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Great. Glad they showed that to us. Gah! <laughs> Where'd they find the 590 watt light bulb? I actually need something meat hooked. I'm gonna go see if grandma's up. Yep, I, I think he still has those shoes on, you guys. I, I can hear him. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my eye on that situation. Thanks, I'll, Mike. I'll let you know. Okay. Well, hey, look. Grannies do swing on the outhouse door without their nighties. Uh, he's, he's got the shoes on here. This is good, yeah. A little bit of redundancy on the shoes is good, Mike. I'm gonna back you up on this. Thanks. You know, unless there is a change, I think we can just assume he's wearing the shoes from now yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, good. Maybe this was once fast-paced and someone spilled a grape knee-high on it and got all gummy. Maybe. I realized we hadn't had a stuttering conversation for several hours. Hmm? He rejoices in spilled blood and the baying of dogs. You Marilyn Manson? He is Gorgo and Mormo. And Joe. If you can hang on a sec, I'm about to say something. Jody, you turned down a road yesterday because you wanted to see what was at the other end. Just like that chicken. Well, now you've seen it, but you won't believe it. I can't. Not can't, won't. Ah. You won't believe in the devil because you're afraid. If you believe in him, he'll be real. It's like when you wouldn't believe in peanut butter. He is real. I heard him. I felt him inside me. That was acid reflux. It's not true. Face it. Hmm. I've had to. Do you think I like it? Do you think I've enjoyed all these years with the devil's spirit inside me? Well, sure, we've had some laughs. It happened, Jody. Just like in your dream. That dream was coincidence. Is it a coincidence that I know they sang a hymn in your dream? The good Christians sang a good Christian song while they were burning my sister. And they didn't even have a youth horn section. Amazing grace. And Chuck. That saved a wretch like me. Public domain, we don't have to pay anyone, ha 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 ha! What are you doing to me? It's that witchcraft! Wicked witchcraft! Why is it so important that I believe in this devil of yours? Well, I get a commission, so... Because you can save me. Hmm? I've got a sickness in me, Jody. I've got occasional devil worship. You can free me from it. 
but not unless you believe it exists. Aren't there any Jesuits in the phone book? Come on. How can I help you? What can I, a single puss, do? By believing what I've told you. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to tell you. Let me pause to drench my next line in meaning. I want to help you. But I'm really busy right now. I love you. And I've grown awfully fond of your grandma. May I touch your sideburn? And hear the rest of it. I want to, I want to. Consarn it, break it up my dag nabbit contract with Satan. <laughs> oh, wow. Poop deck pappy getting all upset here. They turned me down for that policy. They said it couldn't happen. I want to, I want to. I want to. I told you I could take you, you pansies. I could take the whole family. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I have to wash Satan's towels. Melissa. Crossroads seem to come and go. <laughs> if all this were true, that would make you 127 years old. Yes. Man, she's getting into Strom Thurmond country. Ding, 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 ding. It's the train going through the pause. Is it still the same pause, or is it technically a sub-pause? Even if it were true, I'd love you anyway. I mean, I'd put you in a home, but... Ugh. Hey, John Quincy Adams. Wow. <laughs> Grandma used to work for the LAPD. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and Grandma just gotten a job as a greeter at Walmart. Uh, Mike, what were you guys doing during the 70s? Yeah. Making witch movies, inhaling huge clouds of marijuana, big deal. ugly flared pants on. Mm -hmm. I had to do something. Oh, she'll be fine. Come on. You know, when you're that age, you're just ready to go right up. The slightest spark can get it going, let me tell you. Uh, now she's Melissa No Shed Strickland. <laughs> Man, never let Edie Sedgwick borrow your lake cabin. I've done it. No good. Here you go. Grandma must have exploded or something. Grandma's flash paper bathrobe turned out to be a mistake. Oh, if the septic tank goes up, we're all in trouble. In the wake of the tragedy, the town built a better grandma, stronger, with a steel frame and a sprinkler system. Now I just have to watch out for my other grandma. She's really crazy. Oh, you think I wanted your saliva? Is that why you did that? Ugh. Hmm. Not worth it. Sorry. I had fun though. See ya. Could you not French my daughter during breakfast? Goodbye, sir. Thank you for trusting me. I'll, I'll keep my word. I'll tell no one of your back sweat problem. Well, let's lock you back in the barn. I'll walk out to the car with you. Could you drop me off at Tanglewood? I'm conducting Mahler's tent this weekend. Open the lens more. We need more light. More! Mm, I see Grandma behind that tree. You might want to make a run for it. I just wanted to ask you while we're away from all the others. Do you think we're weird at all? It's all true, you know, everything she told you. I'm sorry, sir, I can't believe that. And I can't believe she's possessed by the devil, either. I suppose not. Whatever. 
Be careful. Goodbye, Jody. Goodbye, sir. Oh, and uh, don't join Al Pacino's law firm. <laughs> May the dark one hold your soul in his clutch. I mean, uh, safe trip. Yo. Yeah, nice kid. Yeah, the bomb should go off in a couple of minutes. Ah, Fritz Chrysler used to wear a striped shirt like that. Mm. Oh, I got so many walnut husks in my teeth. Well, I should say goodbye to the fish, I suppose. Who the heck is that village smithy? I am hungry, but I can't go back to the grocery store after that Za incident. Wow, look at the smoke. Everybody must be burning their grandmas today. <laughs> hey, I ran out of gas. <laughs> I'm kind of a wolf when I'm alone with myself. Yep. Hey, the odometer's all sixes. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's my immortal soul? Crap, I left it back at the farm. Back at the beginning, this film is a Mobius strip. My fish moved and didn't leave a forwarding address. See, I don't get how they build this as a rollicking musical. No. The only known shots of Bigfoot in a t-shirt. Come sit in the crotch. Well, you know, the tree. <laughs> right. Raw. <laughs> I love you, Melissa. Almost as much as I love wide whale corduroys. It doesn't matter that the devil's in your soul. Uh, look familiar, Mike? Hey. I love you. Uh, are you blowing me off, or is this just one of our pauses? Our next pause is going to be this big. Ready, wrestle. The devil just happens to be peeking out of her mouth right now. Hey, get out of there! Well, the dates are easy without Grandma clubbing him to death. Huh? Man, I thought I was an operator. He's Ooh, fast. Whoa. You know, my mom used to have a little saying. It's just as easy to fall in love with a woman who's not possessed by the devil. Mm -hmm. They have one chest hair. Okay, kids, the picnic is this way. What? Ah! Ah! You freed me. I've turned into Gloria Stewart at last. I love you, my son. I do love you. But why are you sanding my shoulder? You seem to have some sort of tarp on your hand. You see, you're going to have to expect a little of this with your brides of Satan. Oh, yeah. I should know. What's wrong? Your face. Well, what's wrong with my face? No, nothing if you like Hubie Blake. Oh, my God. Oh, I've become Sigourney Weaver. He cheated me. Hmm? He never told me. Man, if you can't trust the devil. Jody, I'm, I'm going to die. No. You're 127 years young. There's a way. No. No. Jody, not that way. What would you have of me? Hmm. Don't let her die. I love her. Whoa, boy, no, I don't. Will you accept <laughs> me as your master? Yes. No. 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 Then save her. Morley save her. Hit him. Quickly now, save her. Well, I guess that's what I was calling you for, devil. Ugh. 
I should have asked the devil to throw in some other modifications while I was at it. Good, so we're both in the clutches of the devil because you wanted seconds. <laughs> and they drift apart after three weeks. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have a litter of jackals in nine months, you know. This is a good pause we're having, huh? Yeah, I'm guessing this guy's gonna be a fairly minor soldier in the Devil's Army. Yeah, probably have a tiny picture in Hell's newsletter. Yeah. Well, they better book a hall in Hell for their unholy wedding. It's like a year wait. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't trust this, Mike. I think this is just the longest pause yet. <laughs> oh, okay. So, in the end, Satan wins, I guess. Yep, pretty much a shutout for Satan. Yep. <laughs> oh, ah, the devil! Get out of here. <laughs> Sweet deal. Hey, hey, Mike! I just sold my soul to Satan. Oh, you did? Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna have lots of unfathomable worldly power real soon. And I thought I'd give you the heads up on that. Oh, that's real thoughtful of you. Thanks, girl. Yep, got a contract right here from Satan. Let me see that. Shall take possession of his mortal soul. Yeah, yeah. that'll scan. Well, uh, but look at this, little mistake here. It looks like you sold your soul to Stan, not Satan. Huh. Yeah. Well, th there's a number there. Would you mind calling it, please? Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Wow. Yeah, see, this this isn't even the area code for hell, so... Uh, yep. Yellow, Stan Johnson. Ah, see, there you go. Hi, uh, Stan, this is uh, Mike Nelson. You're not by any chance the devil, are you? Uh, nope. I'm a CPA and investment consultant. Damn. Uh -huh, yeah. Hey, I'm calling on behalf of Crow T. Robot. Oh, right. Little skinny gold guy, kind of bug-eyed, sure. Yeah, nice. that's the guy. Hey, did you buy his soul? Yes, I did. I, I manage a well-balanced portfolio of souls. They can be very high yield. Um, 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 Stan, this is Crow. Uh, when can I get my soul back? Is that possible, or...? Oh, I'm sorry. I resold your soul already to Citicorp in a big block of souls. Oh, man, I am gonna have to make so many phone calls to get my soul back. Oh, man. Oh, and Pearl's babysitter's calling. Whew. Hello? Be with you in a minute. Almost finished story time. Then everyone goes to sleep. Uh, can I come out now? Shush, bad dog. Go to sleep. Okay. Now where was I, Brian? Oh, uh, the tall fellow was repeatedly refusing to ingest green eggs and ham. The short fellow was bizarrely insistent upon it. Yes, very good. <laughs> I will not eat them in a plane. I will not eat them. On a train. On a train, right. You know, why doesn't he just leave him alone? He has pointedly made his refusal to eat this dish clear. The mere hypothetical changing of a location is irrelevant and tedious. And, and that Sam I am is so bloody repetitive I could scream. Are we a little cranky, Brian? No, madam, I am overtired. So I shall turn in now. So if you wouldn't mind, please, my blankie. My nookie and my friend. Ah, thank you kindly. Good morrow to you. Nighty night. Well, no, me. Uh, I definitely eat them on a train. There's Quiet, no doubt no about bark. that. It'd be delicious on a train, but a plane. I'd have to think about a plane. Maybe substitute bacon for ham. That sounds kind of nice, and we could have a night. Uh, oh boy. No bark. I'm not barking. I was just talking. Oh, I'm commenting on the story. There's no barking involved at all. No, no bark. Oh, no. I'm not sure you see my point here. It's like this. Rather than barking, as you assumed, I was actually. Oh, oh come on. It's a, Talking about oh no oh no bark oh I'm not barking oh bad dog articulating oh jeez oh oh bad dog oh stop
This is where the fish lives. 